So the Cartier Love Bracelet in 2023. Is it still worth it? I know the price increases keep going up and up, but let's take a look and find out what the Cartier Bracelet's all about. Selfridges. It is a Sunday, so it's so packed today. Uh, we had to wait in line, but hopefully we're going to get served soon. I'm seeing an essay here, and it's going to help us out with the cardio bracelet. Let's sit down and get prepared. Aside all things, I really do appreciate a, a discreet luxury bag casing so nobody knows where you came from, where you've been, and you can get home in peace, especially if you're on the tube. So I recently took you to Cartier to see what it's like at the Selfridges Boutique and whether or not it's still worth buying the Cartier bracelet. First, let's get into a little bit about the history about Cartier, whether or not it is still worth the hype for the prices that are going increasingly higher and what my thoughts are on the Cartier Love Bracelet. When you think about Love Bracelet today, a lot of people do associate them with celebrities who have sported the bracelet and people of wealth and status. Released as an 18 karat gold bracelet in an oval shape that was supposed to be very close to the wrist for 150 to about 250 US dollars. It was designed in New York by a French designer for the French house Cartier. Yeah. The reason why the love bracelet is so popular today and people really do appreciate it, one is its history with the brand, but also how it has become such a status symbol for its simplicity. The bracelet doesn't have a lot of details when you do look at it. It is very plain and it just has some screwdriver impressions all the way around. And this was created and designed after the medieval chastity belts that were a practice for people as torture. If you look at a medieval chastity belt, it's very gruesome. It usually is sort of located around, around, it's like an underwear shape and it's a torture device that they use in the medieval times. And this was sort of taken from that inspiration, but also it was redesigned after one of the Cartier's watches that they had designed in earlier 20th century. Prior to the love bracelet, a lot of jewelry that was designed by Cartier was very extravagant. It was exclusive, the type of jewelry that people would wear when going to a special occasion. They're actually quite popular for their tutti frutti necklace, which is like a bunched necklace down here with lots of embellishments and it's a very popular design still today but prior to the love bracelet it was actually uncommon to wear an everyday piece of jewelry on your wrist or a necklace it was more popular to perhaps wear some earrings every day but this type of jewelry was still very uncommon for someone to wear every day so when they designed it it was designed to be something that would lock on you for a while and you would, you know, not take it off very regularly. It was a permanent piece, as so to say. You could only buy the love bracelet as a gift for somebody else. So you couldn't just go in there and say, hey, can I have a Cartier love bracelet for myself because I love the design and it's getting popular. You had to buy it for somebody else. And this was something that they stopped later on, I think in the, in the 90s or a little bit before then, uh, just to make it more accessible for everyone and not have a reason to buy it for someone. And because of this design being so complicated to take off the wrist and only being able to use a screw to unscrew the bracelet, 
it was something that one you had to have the screw on you at all times if you wanted to take it off so it became a little bit of a problem in certain areas especially popular areas in New York the uh, airport was and um, it was a massive problem there because it was always setting off the alarms and they wanted people to take it off and they couldn't take it off and they would damage the bracelet by trying to take it off in it in other ways so I think hospitals uh, certain hospitals and places around New York actually kept a screwdriver handy so that they could take off the bracelet just in case somebody obnoxiously was coming through the airport with all this jewelry that they had to take off. So anyway that's about the Cartier love bracelet history. Now what if we fast forward to today's day and age we see many celebrities like Kylie Jenner, uh, we've got Zac Efron, we've got Meghan Markle, lots of people wearing this uh, love bracelet now and I think it really got popular around 2000 2014 where a lot of people just wanted to collect love bracelets and stack them up. Now that it has been around for a few years of popularity to the utmost extent, it has increased about 2000 percent so it's a very it's a very large number to go up and if we're just talking about the base model for the Cartier love bracelet you have the thick version and you've got the thin version the thick version recently did have a price increase that went up I think about 500 to 400 pounds here in the UK and the thin version also went up 400 pounds. The question is, is it still worthy of buying it now that there are so many other brands doing a similar version of this bracelet or other brands doing bracelets that still look fantastic on the wrist with their simplicity? Well, let's unbox this bracelet and find out. <laughs> So if there's one thing about Cartier, it has to be that the packaging is immaculate. When I went in there and they displayed it for me on the table, on the counter, it just looks so beautiful. Everything was red and had the gold embellishments. It has to be by far the best packaging for a luxury designer that I've ever seen. And I think a lot of people do love Cartier for their packaging as well. And it is a huge part of the jewellery itself. I went for the small version and because I actually secured this in October last year I got it for the price that was lower than what it is now so since there's been a price increase 
and I was away for the whole of January so I couldn't pick it up and the Christmas time was so busy but my essay was so understanding and very considerate and they held it for me until now which is February so that was really good. It fits quite nicely on the wrist, there's a lot of movement so it can go up the wrist and it can fall down like so, just like my other bracelet there, so that is really handy. And then I also got the Love Ring. So this is the thin version of the Love Ring. Both are in rose gold, as that's what I've been collecting as my everyday jewelry recently. And the Love Ring is very simple. It's just a little bit thinner than the bracelet, but they are very delicate and elegant and they look really nice just alone um, as you wear them as jewellery. I'm so happy with how they look and how it's turned out. I really think the rose gold is a beautiful colour as well. But I also wanted to show you what the Tiffany bracelet looks like when I stuck them together. So my Tiffany bracelet, which I got for my birthday last year in September, now this is beautiful, it's got diamonds on there, on the T, and this is the wire version. And it's also in rose gold. They stack up really nice together without looking too chunky and overdone. And I think just the two of them together and the three stacked up looks really nice and elegant. So now the big question, is it worth it? Is it worth your hard earned money? Would you go out and buy a Cartier love bracelet for someone that you love? Would you go and buy it out for yourself? Is it enough gold for the price? Is it justified? Well, my honest opinion would be yes. If you really love the brand and you've been obsessed for a really long time, it's worth getting into. Uh, it's something that I've always sort of kept on the back burner. And, you know, I've always put it away because it's always been expensive. I don't think that you should get it because you see it a lot on social media or you think that um, it is something that's going to hold its value because, to be honest, the Cartier Love Bracelets, there is a lot on the pre-loved market and people are always selling them off. So it's not really something, unless it's really special to you, that you should go and buy brand new. You can always buy something on a pre-loved market that can authenticate and verify the purchase. Uh, they do scratch very easily, as been told. So if you do want to wear it every day, you would have to accept that. But you can always get it polished, which is fine. And when they polish it, it looks brand new almost. You wouldn't polish it all the time, but maybe like every six months you could get it polished or even more frequent than that. And you'll still maintain the fresh appearance of the bracelet. It really is a personal choice, just like anything, but I do think that you will very much love and appreciate it for many years if you were to get the Cartier Love Bracelet. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next.